What's up guys, welcome back to another weapon review video. Today we're looking at the Oracle, a post Yaren Yo-Yo, which is special and different from all the others, possessing some unique and very cool abilities. So let's hop into the video and see what this weapon is all about. Before we do that though, over 98% of you guys are not subscribed. If you would like to subscribe, it would really help out the channel. So this yo-yo creates an expanding aura of red lightning that shocks surrounding targets each time it directly hits an enemy. It also has no immunity frames, making it a big damage dealer. Once the circle has become its fullest, it will launch three orbs on hits, and each of these orbs will deal triple the yo-yo's base damage. Obviously, if you don't hit enemies with the yo-yo, the aura will start to shrink. So keep getting those hits in. So how do you get this weapon? First, you'll need to defeat the dog of the universe to get Cosmolite bars. Use them to make a cosmic anvil and the obliterator. Then you'll need auric tesla bars, so you'll need to fight urine to get urine soul fragments and auric ore to spawn underground. Combining the two will get you auric tesla bars. Finally, you'll need the solar flare yo-yo, which has a 25% chance to drop from Providence. Then you've got the Oracle, a great single target and multi-target weapon that deals a lot of damage. This is one of the few yo-yos that has an infinite attack time, meaning that you can hold it out for as long as you'd like. Using this weapon alone is very powerful, but there are some accessories you can add to make it even more powerful. Firstly, and most obviously, you can use the yo-yo bag accessory to get a second yo-yo and a counterweight that will swing around you. Counterweights and the second yo-yo significantly boost damage, especially when facing large groups of enemies. You can easily triple your DPS just by equipping this accessory. The protection provided by the counterweights will boost usefulness, but not significantly increase damage versus single targets. Use the Elemental Gauntlet as well, which is the last upgrade to the Fire Gauntlet. It is a simple choice to use while using any melee weapon because it increases melee speed and damage by 15% and melee critical strike chance by 5%. With all those things in mind, you should be able to take down Supreme Calamitous with the Oracle. This boss is really hard and will take a while, but with the right tools and preparation, you will be able to take her down easily. In a playthrough, it usually takes me 15 to 20 attempts before I get it done, sometimes even more, so don't get discouraged. Have you guys used this yo-yo in a playthrough before? Let me know in the comments below. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.